Alright, so this is less than ideal of what I had in mind for how I wanted to present this video, but unfortunately I just don't have enough time to uh, dub over the entire video. It's kind of a uh, pretty long video, I think it's about 40 minutes long. So uh, there's a lot of things I wanted to say, but I, like I said, I don't have the time to actually um, sit down and record everything, which is why I'm posting a lot of shorts. So I'm going to give you a TLDR of what I think regarding uh, the three games. So first and foremost, this is not a competitive comparison, it's more of a fun if you play Honkai and doesn't play PGR, or if you play PGR and doesn't play Honkai, or if you're into um, Aether Gazer and haven't had a chance to play it yet and you're planning on playing it when it come out, just to kind of see what the games are like, um, what they have in comparison, what um, they differ and you know, things like that. TLDR on my thoughts regarding all three of the games. Um, I think my favorite at the moment is probably Aether Gazer because it's a very casual experience. Um, if you, you know, don't play for two weeks, a month, you're not missing out on a lot. And it doesn't, it doesn't punish you, it doesn't force you to sit down and, you know, grind it. You can be very, very casual. Um, while playing Ether Gazer and be uh, extremely successful and you know, be up to par with people who know life it if you want to say it that way where um, when I used to play Honkai when I was tryharding Honkai you know a couple years ago uh, I remember events used to be extremely extremely tedious at times they would require a lot of time and it's not even um, the fact that a lot of the content was time gated because every gacha game is gonna have time gated content because they gonna they gonna find a way to you know prolong that content and keep the community active, keep you logging in day after day after day. It, it got tiring at times. It got tiring. P, uh, PGR I can't really speak of because I don't have that much time playing the game, but I know Etekeza is extremely extremely casual. Um, Honkai was a bit demanding. It was tedious at time, and I guess it it depends on how long you were, you've been playing the game. If you if you're getting a bit burned out on Honkai at the moment, I think, and you still want to play a gacha game similar to Honkai, but don't want to have to you know no life it or grind as hard as you've been. Um, Honkai, I think PGR and Eta Gazer might be right up your alley because. I don't. I can't really speak for PGR, but Ether Gazer is extremely casual. PGR, I think it's a pretty decent game. I could see myself playing it, but I don't think I'm gonna try hard it. It's gonna be one of those things where I I hop on every now and then, you know, I'll play a couple missions, see what's going on, see what the new event is about, see what the new character is about, and just keep an eye on it. But um, to say I'm gonna log in every single day and try hard it and you know go super super hardcore on it you know uh, try to reach leaderboard and paint cage and stuff like that I don't think I'm gonna be going that hard and even in Honkai like right now I'll just you know like focus on story right now focus on story see what the new characters are about see what's going on with the the new lore and stuff you know, I'll keep track of that, but I, I don't like. I don't know why, but I don't want to get too in depth into these games, which is why I think um, Ether Gazer is pretty appealing to me because it's so casual. I don't feel like there's any pressure to um, stay playing, like constantly be grinding. Otherwise, I'm gonna be left behind. Um, but to give you guys a TLDR and what I think about all three of these games, Ether Gazer, if you're casual. If you're extremely casual, it's a gazer. If you're try hard, you want to PvP, you want to compete, you want to be, you want to show to others that you're better than them. Honkai Impact. But you have to be a pay to win, or two have at least two years as a free to play to compete. 
All right. Punishing Graven, I can't really speak on because by the time this video has been recorded, I've only got about 10 hours in. And I, I, I can't say if it's pay to win, if it's free to play, if it's, if like, I know there's pain cage, but I don't know how competitive or how money, or, I'm pretty sure since it's a gacha and character ranks have something to do with it, it might, it might be similar to Honkai, but that's gonna be my ranking. In terms of uh, fun factor, I think all three games are fun. I think Honkai Story is unmatched. I think PGR's combat is extremely satisfying. I think Ithergazer's combat is very unique and adds a very fun twist to the game. So each, all, all three of these games have something to offer. So whether or not you play depends on how much time you have. If you play PGR right now and you haven't played Honkai, I would recommend playing Honkai. I would not recommend getting too competitive unless you're planning on spending, but I would recommend playing Honkai. If you haven't played any of them and you've been a bit intimidating by Honkai and PGR, maybe you thought Honkai was too competitive, or m maybe you wanted to get into Abyss or uh, MA, but you know you don't want to play for two years or end up spending a bunch of money and you like that style of game but maybe you want something casual uh Ethergazer, that's for you uh maybe you want something with a very robust uh, combat system and if that's you then pgr uh all three of these games look good i think because Ethergazer is newer you'll find that in many places it'll look better even though Honkai is have a native client on PC, I find that in many instances, except when it comes to character uh, models, Ethergazer looks better. Ethergazer looks better than PGR in many instances because it's a newer game. And as um, new stages, as new stuff come up for Ethergazer for Punishing Graven and for Honkai Impact, they do catch up. I guess I don't want to say catch. I know. I don't know if catch up is the right way to say, but the visuals improved. But Ethergazer looks good, like from the beginning till the till current. It looks it's a very good looking game, except when it comes to character models. I do think Honkai and PGR are extremely, extremely well um, ahead of Ethergazer when it comes to character models. I don't know what it is about it, but. It has to be animation in, um, I want to say physics, animations and physics. Animation in the characters themselves and cloven, and then just physics and how, how they move and behave, if that even makes sense. But if their case's characters could use a little bit more um, polish. So yeah, that's gonna be my ranking. If you want to be competitive, if you want to show everybody that you're better than them, and you have the money to spend or have about two years to catch up a Honkai impact. If you wanna get if you wanna get into something casual, something you can just drop in and drop out whenever you want, hit the gazer. Punishing Grey Raven, I can't really speak on because I don't have enough experience to make a decision on that one. But I would say it's somewhere in between. Not quite Honkai, not quite as casual as um, AG. But somewhere in between. If you're looking for something for story, uh, Honkai Impact. Um, Eiji's story is extremely good. I can, even though I don't speak Chinese, and I, I've tried to stay away from story stuff, but from what I can pick up on is it's pretty good. But I don't know. We have we have to wait and see if it's as good as Honkai. But for story, for sure, Honkai is like the, the, the one to beat. Um, Punishing Raven again is something I can speak on based on like when it comes to story. I've seen snippets, you know, seen some CGs and stuff like that. It looks like uh, OST. If you <laughs> if you're big on OST, Punishing Grey Raven. Honkai have a lot of good songs. Everybody knows Honkai have some absolutely ridiculous, ridiculously good um, some songs and stuff, right? The music is really good. I would also say PGR have some really good um, 
uh, soundtracks, right? So, I would recommend all three. If you have the time, you can drop in and drop out of AG. If you want to be competitive, Honkai. And somewhere in between is BGR. Like I said, I kind of wanted to dub over this entire video. Unfortunately, I have constraints, which is why I'm posting a lot of shorts. Um, by the way, if you guys have subscribed to me recently, I would extremely appreciate it if you could turn on the bell notification. Because I've noticed that even though I've gotten like almost 500 subscribers in the past month, when I post something, hardly anybody sees it. I'm assuming you please just not send it out. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna try to um, put some annotations, some, some timestamps so you guys can skip to whatever parts of the video you're interested in. Because this is a pretty long video and I don't want you guys to just sit through it. Feel free to skip whatever you want. You know, thank you for watching. この これが私の答えだ。いや、この剣。勝ち続けよう。たとえ迷いが消えずとも。
深淵に飲み込まれろ遅い弱い遅い左の道を選ぼう。待てじゃあちょっと終わらすか。見してたら危ないわよ。暇つぶしにはなるかな。
の景色をプロニお姉ちゃんにも見せてあげたいな。ぼーっとしてるの館長
あら私をお探しおう呼んだかはいはーいここだよあなんだなんでしょうお手伝いできることはありますかはいいつでもそばにいますよ何かよお姉さんに頼み事かしらではお手並み拝見といきましょう何,何はっ任せろ時間の無駄にならなければいいけれど。お役に立てるよう頑張ります私を呼んだヤッホー私の力が必要ですか頂点目指して出発進行よろしくねー速達サービスはどう準備 OK お姉さんがいれば大丈夫ここにいますよあら探したかしらはいはい呼んだあなたの太陽はいつでもおそばにえ私ですか任せろわかったおうレビアタンいるよあなんだ新しい注文ですかうんその選択に賛同しよう君のために力を振るおうか了解だよ
私の力が見たいのか時に任務にも変装が必要だからな。センスがありますね。慣れるなら何でも私に話して我が友よ丁寧な祭壇手の込んだ素材これが今のファッションなのにも負けませんこの装甲の由来<笑>案外服を選ぶセンスがありますね好きよ服を渡す時に顔を真っ赤にする艦長な素敵なお洋服ですねとても貴重なプレゼントをいただいたようですね何でしょうかとても貴重なプレゼントをいただいたようですね準備はできてますいつでも出発できます服が違うと気分も違いますね
ご好意感謝します服が違うと気分も違いますねご好意感謝します服が違うと気分も違いますねご好意感謝します館長からのプレゼント館長からのプレゼント大切館長からのプレゼント大切にしますね撃を要請します第二小隊代理隊長ブローニャ指示をお気に入りのジャケットを思い出しましたもう着られないのが残念です確認を果たします代わりにあなたを光に戻すこの服は過去を思い出しますこの完璧じゃない物語を私たちの望み通りに変えてみせる。